Phones today are giant slabs of glass and metal with touchscreen displays and very few physical buttons. But back in the day, this is what a high-end cell phone looked like. Let's hop in the time machine and take a look at this ancient relic. This is the LG VX 8600. Yes, that is the official name. It was the successor to the LG Chocolate, which was a very popular slider phone, but LG never gave the 8600 a cool name like that. This one is special to me because it's my very first cell phone. It still works perfectly fine, it turned on immediately when I plugged it in, and it still has the correct date and time. Pretty impressive. The 8600 launched in 2006, and according to my call log, I used it until 2010. Can you imagine using a phone that long nowadays? So what did you get with a top of the line flip phone in 2006? The 8600 has dual displays. Pretty fancy, right? The one on the inside is 176 by 220 resolution, and it has 18-bit color. The secondary display is 160 by 128, which is super helpful for taking selfies before the term selfie even existed. Speaking of camera, it's 1.3 megapixels. Photos are 1280 by 960 and videos are 176 by 144. You can barely see them on the phone's tiny display, but thankfully there's a micro SD card slot. The photos actually don't look awful in well lit conditions, they're just really small. The design of the phone is pretty cool for the time. It's about as thin as the LG G6 when flipped open. The front is glossy with red light up media controls. Around the silver edge is the volume slider and shortcut keys. The D-pad and dial pad are really nice and clicky, which is good if you're gonna bang out a text with this. On the back is the removable 800 milliamp hour battery, which can last up to 16 days on standby. And in 2006, standby was what your phone was in most of the time. And the most important part of the hardware is the satisfying flipping mechanism. I really miss flip phones for this reason. It just feels so good to flip open and make a call. Some of the other fancy features include Bluetooth and Vcast, which was Verizon's store for buying ringtones and music. But if you wanted to listen to music with headphones, you needed a proprietary adapter. Wouldn't it suck to go back to life without headphone jacks? In 2006, all of this costs you $180 retail or $130 with a two-year contract on Verizon. I thought it was really cool to see how far phones have come in the last decade. When I got this phone, I thought it was the best thing ever. There wasn't a lot you could actually do with a phone like this, other than making calls and texts, but I constantly played with it. Pretty crazy to think that this led to this. What was your first cell phone like? Did you ever own a flip phone like this? Do you wish flip phones were still popular? Let me know in the comments below, and until next time, we'll see you later.